I would like to introduce our first lecturer today, this lovely young blonde lady here. We, we bought our hair in the same shop. Which please make welcome Pam McGill. Pam is a former British Rising Star Champion, International Latin Coach and Adjudicator, and it just so happens that Pam is both of the top Latin American teacher in the United Kingdom for 2015. Big round of applause for Pam. We can't get anybody from the top five. So Pam, it's over to you. Would you like my talking stick? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> uh, I feel it's a bit nervous at the moment, um, but I know that's going to go very quickly because once I start talking and once I start dancing, the nerves just go <laughs> away and the whole body starts to tingle. And the nerves are not there really, they're just bubbling inside and then the action will start. The title of the lecture um, that uh, we've been given. Oh, and before I start, I think I'd like to thank the um, committee for uh, inviting me. I want to say that first. Thank you very much. Um, yes, uh, what is the most important to me in today's Latin American dancing that we all love? I would say that. Um, Thinking about this, oh, before I came here, I thought that my most important priority to start with is technique. I always work on feet, first of all, because in my opinion, um, everything in dancing comes from the feet. So, whatever we do in our dancing in Latin, it must come from the feet, particularly as a dancer in Latin, we are not always in hold, we're not together with our partners, so many times we are solo. So this is even more important as a dancer for man and lady that you are dancing really strongly over your feet, technically. The second thing I'd like to say to you all that's very important to me is body movement. And when I say body movement, I'm talking about hip action, I'm talking about back muscles that we have in the body. We have thousands of back muscles and it's very important to actually engage the back muscles. So of course, to do that, we've got to be relaxed. This means that the work that you must try to develop with your feet being the strongest part of the body because the feet are connected to the floor, that should leave the upper body free to use itself in whatever way we want to. So that is very important to me. Another important factor is timing. Um, as a judge, of course I wear three hats. I'm a judge, I'm a lecturer and I'm a teacher. So as a judge, um, when I'm judging competitions, we don't have a lot of time to make a decision, opinion, and write a number down, or mark it from first to sixth place. So therefore, the couples have got to try to um, be clear with their timing. When I'm teaching, some of you must know this, <laughs> I really encourage people to count timing, count steps. Not only steps, but ands and uh. Ands and us. If you dance kukracha, there's lots of ands and us. So kukracha is two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. But there's lots of ands and uh, uh as well. And this is very important. When I was taught many years ago, and still learning, I hope, that the uh count and the and count are very, very important. My teacher used to stress this. Um, and then I find a lot of Latin American today very, uh, the choreography is very fast. Everybody wants to be quick, everybody wants to be effective, everybody wants to be 
um, explosive feeling looking on the floor. This is okay, but it loses what I call harmony. And harmony between a couple, a boy and a girl, is very, very important on a competition floor. So many times, there is eye contact, there is this meaning between one person and another. So if I walk towards somebody, I want to feel that I'm connected with them all the time. And there is this lovely little smile on his face straight away. <laughs> and I don't think that happens enough. People dance so there's an empty, vacant, nothing face that doesn't sometimes even look at your partner. So I think the harmony, the eye contact is so important. And that brings out such lovely connecting feelings of opposite foot if you're op opposite foot. In ballroom dancing, we don't have eye contact. We have a shape to the left and to the right. The man and the lady are completely away in the eye and the face area. But in Latin, we are dancing together. And I think that should be very important. So, I'm going to put those four things together and I'm going to give you a very nice little exercise if you would all like to come up and join me. And uh, we're going to dance together. Together, together. And try to stress these factors. And this is very nice exercise that we're going to do right now. I'm going to put this down, this mic, because I can't dance with this in my hand. I need to and this one. Okay, so I'd like you, if you don't mind standing opposite your partner, opposite your partner without connection. Oh, Pam, I'm just going to interrupt you. When you hear this, you have five minutes. Oh, no! Yeah. Oh, you don't mean that, do you? I do. <laughs> no, actually, sorry, I've changed the mind. You know, I'm a woman. So can we all come kindly, first of all, and face the... Okay, can you spread out the little ones in the front? <laughs> it's all right, darling, there's nothing wrong with being small. I'm good at small, you'll be good at small. Okay, so I want you all to settle your weight into your left foot. Settle your weight and bend your right knee. So settle and just follow my movement, coming up and down, up and down, up and down, and stop there. So at that point, the weight of the body is into the whole of the foot, particularly onto the heel of the foot. The heel of the foot plays a very big part in our movement of the right side or the left side. So we're going to use the word buttock. It's a beautiful word, but you know exactly what I'm saying. Your left buttock should be actually settled into your left leg. So the left foot, the whole of the foot, the heel of the foot is supporting your left buttock. And we're going to dance a cucaracha on the right foot. So we dance it to the side and we close our feet. Close your feet, but not change weight yet. And now change weight, and actually transfer to the right button. So my right cheek, this right side, is actually settling into the right side of the body. Now we dance a cucaracha on the left foot. Yeah, and we close our feet into the ball of the left foot. And you can see here, inside edge of the ball of the left foot, change weight, hold foot, left button. And repeat, right foot, and close, change weight, left foot, close, change weight, right foot, close, change weight, and stop. Now, the first thing about a cucaracha is that both heels stay on the floor. Both heels stay on the floor. So in other words, we don't move away from that foot. 
we actually keep that left foot, if we're moving into the right foot, the left foot is still on the floor. This is an old step, but it's a really good exercise. It's an old step. It comes from years ago, Doris Lavelle, when she was traveling in Cuba, and these little things used to go here, huh? and the cucaracha is actually killing the cockroach. Sorry, cockroach, we don't want to. So we're actually stabbing at the cockroach, and we're killing it, but we're retaining the weight into the standing foot with the heel down. There's still pressure into the free foot that you're moving away from. So from here, one more time. We haven't talked about timing or body movement yet, but let's get the technique right now. And two, three, four, one. Keep the heels down, everyone. And two, three, and four, one. And two, three, and stop right there. So uh, my next thing that I spoke about was body rhythm, body movement. A cucaracha is a rotation. So a cucaracha, you could say, is one side of a figure eight. Hip rock is a complete figure eight. A figure eight that is lying flat on the floor, making this beautiful rotation circle. A cucaracha is one of those circles, or one of those loops. So we close our feet in the middle, change weight, and we create another circle. So I'd like you to think about that, everybody, Bring your weight down to your heels. I want your hands free by your sides. No tension in your body, your spine straight, and your head looking forward. So this is very simple, but we are isolating our hips. So we're isolating our hips. So here we go, we're dancing this circle loop with the right side, and two, three, four, one, two, Three. Make the circle, everyone. Make that circle. More and more. So your hip action. Four and one and. And as well as that, I ho I'm hoping that when you see my uh, moving, that you can see my back muscles are also engaged in the whole thing. So I feel my hips are coming up to where my bra strap is. Am I allowed to say that? Yes. So where my bra strap is and where my back muscles are, this is where the movement is continuing. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Well, you're fascinated by that. Okay, so let's do that again. So men, not your bra strap. I don't think anybody wearing a bra. Okay. So we actually... <laughs> Well, you never know these days. You never know these days, do you? So here, the back muscles, the hip action, the back muscles, everyone. Your back is flexible. It should actually, you know, continue with the hip movement. Love this. Go. Two, three, four, one. Two, let the back muscles work. The rotation of the right hip and the rotation of the left hip. Now, timing now, that's the last thing. The last thing, the timing. The timing of a cucaracha. That's two and three and four and one and two and three and. My goodness, there's so much movement in this position, closing and settling. It's like going two and three and four and one and. So, I would like to hear you saying this with me. I want to hear your lovely Aussie voices. Yes, I get fed up to hearing mine. All right, so here we go. Lovely and. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Close slowly, two and three and four. Four and one and two and three. Come on, circle more, more. Two and circle. Four and one and two and three and four. Okay, let me have a run A slow run. Very slow, please.
control. So we're on our left foot. And up. Two and three and four and one. Then two and three and four and one. Then two and four. Four count now. Two and three and four.
and I want to talk to you about connection. She goes to plan position, and I step back, she turns, and I step to the side and finish up my movement. Everything in the upper body is soft, everything. When she closes, my kukaracha, and she comes forward, and I'm shaping her beautifully, and she turns into a monster. And we are totally in music.
So this arm is coming to the left side of the man, and I'm going to dance a delayed walk here. So this is a delayed walk. I'm settling, and I'm still looking at him. And my left arm is completely behind me. So I'm not going through with this. I'm going through with my upper body first. Come on. I'll have my turn. And whatever position he wants me to come to, I'll come to. So this is very important here, how the right arm and the left arm on an alamana is different to a uh, hockey stick. Many people do dance an alamana into sliding doors, very popular step. But how we dance this here, <coughs> forward into an alamana. So I'm turning here and forward to my man and maybe a sliding door position. And we have this. So, if you are in everybody come to band position. If you can find some space, there's a lot of you on the floor. Band position, oh, yes, band position. And we're going to try to have this lovely left arm boys into the, into the left side. So stop everybody on four one. Ready? No. Alamana. Alamana stopping on 4-1. Hockey stick we stopped on 4-1. We had that shape. Alamana shaping on 4-1. Okay, ready? And two, three, four. One. Ladies, you should be looking at your man. Your man, your man, not somebody else's. There's only him. So now you're turning. Turn, left foot. Right foot and forward left foot. Yes, very good. One more time, please. One more time. So, gentlemen, shaping the lady. Okay, ready and two, three and four, one. And two and a three and a four, one. Okay. As I said earlier, um, is it dinner time? Oh, when I do that at home, it means the meal's ready. Okay, so quickly, quickly, quickly. What's that? 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 So I saw some ladies, two, three, four, one. There's a word in English, it's stiff. That's stiff, all right? So I want to see an action here. My buttocks are moving, my hips are moving. I want to show hips. My teacher, again, I'm going back to years ago, he used to say, get that skirt, working girl. Swing that skirt. They want to see your knickers. Oh, I do that. They want to see my knickers. Alright, I'll show my knickers. Look at that knicker. Look at that knicker. Look at that knicker. <laughs> yes! And it all comes back to me when I'm teaching. It really comes back to me because I had the greatest teacher in the world, Wally Laird. And he used to come back with some fantastic sayings. And he, I don't forget it. Get that. Did you see that knicker leg? Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you get that bit there? Like that bit. Do you like that? Do you like that bit? Do you like that bit? And this is what it's like. This is what we have to do, girls. So, and in that time, okay, he's going to ding it in the middle. In a minute, in a minute, no, no, okay, no more dings. So, oh, oh, five minutes, five minutes ago. Okay, okay, whatever. Right, so we're going to dance an open hip to fan, hockey stick shaping, open hip to fan, alamana shaping. Now, come on, girls, get these hips, get your movement, get your movement. It's up to you. Many judges mark on the ladies. I know one. <laughs> Actually, I know two. Not looking at them. <laughs> so, open position, swinger, open position. So, here we go. Two, three, four, one. Open hip twist. Come on, ladies, use your body. Use your body. Four, one. Hockey stick. And four, one. Two, three, four, one. 
and again over the hip twist. Four, two, three. Our mana shaping. Two and two and a four. And a two and a three and a four. Use your body. Feel sexy. Okay, music please. Then I want you to feel sexy, ladies. Feel it. Feel sexy. Because it is sexy. All about sexy feeling. Body, body, body. Here we go. Two, three, four. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Squeeze it out. Squeeze. Meaty, meaty, meaty. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. I'm gonna turn. Meaty, meaty, meaty. I'm going to dance in Kukarachas to music. So, Thank you. 